guys and welcome back to the channel. I've got a very exciting lock that I'd like to show you today. This is a lock that I've had sitting around for a while. I've never really sat down and picked it. Um, but I decided today that I was going to have a pop at it. This is called the Mawa uh, GM Redline. It's a dimple lock, as you can see. It's a six pin dimple lock. Um, it's got a sacrificial snap, of course, on the exterior part of the lock as all good uh, security locks have these days. Um, it's got a pretty tight keyway as you can see. What makes this a special dimple lock is in fact understandable when you look at the key. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the key is extremely long. Let's compare it for example with an Abus XP2. Uh, yeah, it's almost twice the size. Um, it's enormous isn't it? Now, of course, we can understand what it's all about. Um, this six pin dimple lock has two pins sitting here in the external part of the lock and has four pins sitting here on the internal part of the lock. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but they're so deep, the first two pins, that there's barely even a mark on the key. They're here and here. If I turn this, maybe you can see that at one point. Um, I can see it here. Uh, and the last two pins are pretty medium set in the middle of this part of the cylinder here. Um, so in order to turn the cam, we need to pick the pins in this part of the cylinder and the pins in this part of the cylinder. Were we to only pick the pins in this part of the cylinder, uh, we would only uh, be able to turn the front of the cylinder and we wouldn't actually be able to turn the cam. Let's have a look and see that in action. So let's just have a look. We're just, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick the front pins in the front part of the lock as if we were uh, just trying to pick the lock. Typically, if for now we didn't know what was inside, for example. So we can feel number one is binding and it gives a little nudge, a little turn on the core. Now we can feel pin two, which is binding. Uh, loosen up our tension. We can set it. We get a false set. Now pin number one is binding again. We can see that it's a spool. We turn it back. We set the spool and we're open. But as you can see, the cam doesn't turn. It's only the front part of the lock which is picked, which means that uh, our lock is not open. Were this in a door, our door would not open. So in order to pick this, what we need to do is, of course, pick the two pins at the front and the four pins at the back. Now, there's a few challenges towards that. Obviously, the first challenge is that a typical dimple pick is not long enough to do that. So what I've had to do is modify uh, a dimple pick. I chose a Spooks because of the extremely deep pins that we had here in this part of the lock. Now, this Spooks is now capable of going all the way in and doing the picking right at the back of the lock. Um, let's have a look at that on the key. We can see that when we put the pick and the key together that we've got enough length in order to pick for number one and number two, and then number three, number four, number five and number six. Okay. The other difficulty is tensioning. Um, if you saw the lock picking lawyers video yesterday on a six pin long lock like this, but it was a tumbler, not a dimple, uh, you will see that he was able to just tension like this and pick all the way through. I can't do that. If I do that, well, I can pick the first two pins, but then nothing will bind on the second part of the cylinder because on the internal part of the cylinder, I need to actually tension the internal part of the cylinder to be able to pick it. I can't just put a tension wrench all the way through and tension everything at the same time. That doesn't work. If the front is tensioned, we can only seem, it seems, we can only pick the pins here. I've never been able to do anything down here. So what I've had to do is modify um, this, uh, which is a, a blank dimple pick that you can buy from Ouverture Fin, the French lock picking website. The idea is that you buy it blank like this, you file it down, you curve it, you do whatever you need in order to get your desired dimple pick. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this picked back in a sec. Tension tool goes in. Of course, we've got to be careful to tension the back half of the lock and not the front half of the lock. I think we're in. I 
There we got one. I think we're on a spool and we've got it. Obviously you can't see that from where you're sitting um, but if I turn the lock round you can see that the inside part of the lock is picked which means what we need to do now is we need to tension the exterior part of the lock and pick that too back to number one which is the spool that is picked now as well of course as you can see so in order to turn the cam we need to put our tension wrench through the whole uh, lock we're going to use a different tension wrench it goes all the way through you can see it sticking out the back and now when I turn it we're going to actually be able to turn the cam and of course we can see that the lock is open. So that was our Mauer GM Redline. Fantastic lock. Not going to be able to gut it unfortunately because I would never be able to put it back together again. And it's such a nice lock I'd like to be able to either keep it from a collection or send it on for somebody else to do a proper good picking and gutting online. So thanks for watching guys. That was our Mauer GM red line amazing key lock thanks for watching guys and speak soon